every player will own an array of exosuits we call javelins. These suits give players superhuman capabilities and are heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. Bam, looking good. Nice, you've got a mortar equipped. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. You lead the way, I'll follow. G'day guys, Az here, and uh, today we're looking at Anthem, EA and Bioware's new IP. Seems to be the answer they've been looking for to take on the juggernaut that is Destiny. Now, if you're anything like me, you will uh, have played a little bit of Destiny over the last few years, and uh, you're looking to sink your teeth into Destiny 2 later this uh, this year. Um, this, this game is going to be coming out in fall of 2018, so quite a little while off, but uh, in the meantime, here's some beautiful footage. It's looking absolutely magnificent in terms of its fidelity and its graphical uh, engineering. Now, this game is uh, running on Frostbite 3, which is the same engine as what Battlefront and Battlefield 1 are running on currently, and if you have a look at this game, just in this quick little trailer that I've released today, you can see it's in quite a league of its own. It's uh, it's truly remarkable just how far games have come over the last few years. Uh, every every single generation, you're just raising the bar time and time again, and this game just truly shows that. Now, a core gameplay features. It looks to be a looter shooter, similar to, as I said before, the Destiny franchise. Um, in what looks to be, obviously, a third person. I haven't seen any ADS uh, capabilities as of yet, but you know that's all pending. This is still early into the uh, the game's cycle, so anything could change by this time next year. Um, it's definitely borrowing from uh, different genres in the gaming industry, where you've got your Borderlands, obviously Destiny, as I've said numerous times already. Um, it's very Mass Effect esque, um, obviously being made by Bioware, Edmonton, um, not Montreal, but uh, obviously you can still see that that very sort of same sort of similarities, especially with the exosuit that the uh, the characters are wearing. But yeah, as brief as this trailer was, um, hopefully in the coming months we see a little bit more f of what this game has to bring to the table, keep the uh, the hype train moving forward, and maybe a little bit more raw, unedited footage for us to uh, get our hands on. Not so much choreography, which, uh, which is always you know, typical E3 uh, shenanigans that they, they like to do. Uh, but yeah, exciting times. But that's just my two cents of what we've been shown so far at E3 uh, for Anthem. Uh, hopefully we see a little bit more very, very soon, and uh, I'll leave you with the rest of the trailer. Hope you enjoy. Give me some covering fire. There's a bunch more coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. Good. Oh, yes! Jer's Wrath! Oh, nice. Large scale world events like Shaper Stories are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Oh, Shaper Storm incoming. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, what's happening? I'm right behind you. Whoa. This storm is getting crazy. So what are we supposed to do? Fly into it. All right, let's do this. See you on the other side. Our story is out there. <laughs> 